Hi boys and girls, how's my fish class? Well, I wanted to read you a great story this week called All God's Critters because we've been talking about the wild, wonderful animals that God has created. So pull up a chair, sit on your sofa, get a blanket, and follow along. All God's Creatures by Bill Staines and Kadar Nelson. Oops, sorry about that. All God's Critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. And some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. Now, listen to the bags. It's in one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with a big to-do. And the old cow just goes moan. The dog and the cat, they take up the middle while the honeybee hums and the crickets fiddle. The donkey brays, and the pony neighs, and the coyote howls. Ooh. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. And some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. Now, listen to the top where the little bird sings. On the melodies with the high notes ring. The hoot owl hollers over everything. And the jaybird disagrees. Singing in the nighttime. Singing in the day, the little duck quacks. Then he's on his way. Quack, 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 quack. The possum ain't got much to say, and the porcupine talks to himself. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. Now, it's a simple song of living sung everywhere by the ox and the fox and the grizzly bear, the grumpy alligator and the hawk above the sly raccoon, and the turtle dove. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low. And some sing higher. Look at all those animals. They're all talking and singing and having such a good time. They're giving praises to God, their wonderful creator, for making them. And some sing out loud on the telephone wire. And some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. Now, look at the animals. I think they're getting ready to go to sleep because they've been having such a good time. All right. Well, boys and girls, I hope you all enjoy this great book about all of God's critters. So until next time, bye-bye.